Salvia coquinea, agroplants.org, also known as scarlet sage. Uh, this hibiscus, it's perennial evergreen, can grow also as an annual plant. It's used for the ornamental, it attracts a lot of pollinators, and this cultivar that you see here, it's summer jewel pink. And I say it because usually uh, the flowers are red, and you have also white, orange, and you have this pink, and this pink, it's uh, I think it's better than the usual. Uh, the red one, it's okay, not very beautiful, next to the pink one. I don't know why, this has got my heart on it. And okay, so as I said, perennial evergreen. And if you would like to grow it, there is a link below, link in the right top side. And if you purchase it, this is donation for this channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe. You like plants, this is why you are here. So here it's a great channel, and it's really another kind of donation for this channel. Okay, so growing variety of climate can be tropical, Mediterranean, subtropical, or temperate climate in hardiness zone of 10 plus as perennial. And if you want to grow it as an annual, from 6 plus. And better to start it by cutting and not by seeds. Leaf color are green, ovate to elliptic shape. And the flowers color can be, as I said, red, pink, white, or orange. Uh, flowers grow on a stalk, uh, on stems, in inflorescences. Uh, and the red cultivar that it's not here, it's mean, uh, usually named Lady in Red. It's a nice name. So how to grow it? Prefer frost-free, well-drained soil, uh, planting, uh, you can start by plant, seedling, seeds, or just cutting. Uh, it's really easy to start from seeds, it's with seed itself usually. Uh, but to start from cutting, uh, usually it's better, especially if you want specific colors. And also, uh, to start by cutting, it's just to put mostly in the water and change the water, it will grow usually. So be aware that this plant is aggressive and might be invasive because it recedes itself. Uh, not here, so I'm not really aware. Uh, planting season in the tropical can be all the year in hardiness zone of 12 plus. In hardiness zone of uh, 6, it's in the spring. In uh, 6 to 10 A. In hardiness zone of 10 B, it's from spring to summer. And in hardiness zone of 11, it's in the spring to the autumn. Except these uh, major pests are the aphids, mealybugs, and pruning will be all the year, mostly for dead parts and blooming stems that uh, finish their uh, the way. The height of the plant will be from 40 to uh, centimeter to 1.5 meters, so it means 16 to 60 inches, uh, 3 to 5 feet. Uh, in the right condition, it will be fast-growing plants that require small to average amount of water. Uh, average uh, can be even big amount of water. This plant like water, but can survive a little bit without. Uh, it's not really drought tolerant, but uh, can grow also without. It will bloom less. It will grow less, uh, but uh, you need to spend less water. Light condition. It will be full sun or half shade will bloom better in full sun. Half shade. You will just see that you will have less flowers, and uh, it's much better to put it actually in full sun. If you want to grow it in a container, uh, it's not hard. Size of the container from 10 to 20 liters, so it means from uh, 2 to 4 uh, gallons. Except this uh, requires small to average amount of water, check that the uh, drainage of the soil is good. Uh, let uh, don't let the water sit on too much in the it's it's an option it won't really hurt the plant but and don't forget every few years if you grow it of course as perennial to switch some soil uh, it doesn't have to be all but part of part of it if the roots it's really cover all the container and you don't want to switch to bigger cut part of the plant cut out a uh, part of the roots put some new soil and let it regrow it will grow blooming season uh, will be especially in the spring to the summer, uh, mostly in the summer to the autumn as annual plant, as perennial can be most of the year, uh, but in hardiness zone of uh, 10B from late spring to early autumn. And except this, if you want to grow it from by seeds, it's an option. 
<coughs> for more information you have in growplants.org check but general information about how to sow it 20 to 25 celsius it's mean 68 to 77 fahrenheit possible from a wider temperature and a prefer full sun in order to germinate keeps the seeds in dark and dry location a sowing season better in the spring and uh, planting spacing from 30 on 40 centimeters so it's been 12 on 16 inches a uh, deep uh, it's three to uh, until six millimeters so it's been 0.2 to 0.4 inch and keeps the soil moist you, with high humidity and sunny location average amount of water and don't forget don't let it dry usually it will take two to five weeks to germinate and except this you have some cultivars uh, so it's lady in red summer jewel red forest fire coral nymph snow nymph summer jewel pink and if you ask me i highly recommend on the summer jewel pink uh, i think it's nicer uh, but the other people like it so check it out the different colors it might be lovely also to grow that's all from growplants.org don't forget to subscribe visit our website and of course if you have any question just ask you have here links about more videos some list subscribe and of course purchase plant and this is donation for our channel i hope you enjoy and come visit us again